Good morning, fellow awkward knots, or good evening, I should really say. Uh, it is Wednesday. I apologize, this video is not going to be as well edited or as nice as the last video, which was generally not as well edited and nice as most of your guys' videos, because, well, as I've mentioned before, not a filmmaker. <laughs> um, but here I am to answer your question. So, we get to the questions. First one, of course, being uh, from Cat, to which I will simply answer no. Um, the second question is uh, less of a question, more of a request. It is to tell a story about myself and my siblings as, uh, as young children, which I mean, I don't really have any, like, stories. I just have all sorts of, like, I guess, interesting events and things that we did. Like, on the eastern side of the house that my, uh, that we lived in when I lived in Newfoundland as a kid, there was this, like, this kind of this big tree and then an area where my brother and I and a bunch of my brother's friends were, we tried to dig a hole to China a couple of times. And we never got, like, really deep. We got, like, four or five feet deep, which is deep enough. But we got, it ended up being, like, really wide, too. It was, like, eight feet wide. Big. Um, so, yeah, that's an interesting thing. I mean, other interesting facts, like, it was, we, we were on, like, I think it was a third of an acre of, of essentially just pine trees. They were just all like there was our backyard which was small enough and then just this big forest of of evergreen trees and at one point my brother and his friend made a uh, made kind of a platform in one of the larger trees and it was like there was a windstorm happening while they were working on it so they like lashed themselves to the tree and kept working because, well, my brother's a crazy person like that. Uh, speaking of which, uh, speaking of my brother, my brother was very interested by the uh, video yesterday, Sarah, and I would like to ask for him what kind of a gun you were shooting, because he's into that sort of thing. And he made a few guesses, and I think he would probably be interested as to whether or not his guesses were correct. Um, what other kind of interesting stories might I have? I don't know. I mean, when I was a kid, we went to one of the national parks in Newfoundland. It's called Terra Nova National Park. And, um, that's where I broke my arm really badly. I was in grade three, I think. And, like... It had just rained like crazy when we got there, and my dad and mom were setting up the tent. We were all still kind of young, and we we were over playing on the like the the kind of the jungle gym set play set thing, and I was swinging on like a chin up bar sort of a thing, and I slipped off, and I ended up cracking this elbow on a big rock that was sticking out of the sand and I just like destroyed my elbow I was in a cast for months trying to get it to heal I mean it's it didn't help that I was like a really active kid and like kept on breaking the plaster casts and eventually they just gave me fiberglass casts because <laughs> In the words of my doctor at the time, you could run over it with a semi and it wouldn't matter. Um, so those are, those are interesting stories from when I was a kid. Uh, and the final question asked by Sarah yesterday is, to, uh, is how a tip for how to meet people in real life. Like... One piece of advice, I'm sorry, I'm looking really forward because I'm reading it to make sure I'm getting it right. 
give us one piece of advice for meeting IRL people. Well, one piece of advice is be yourself. Don't, like, and it sounds like the most cliched piece of junk advice, but people can smell a rat. People know when you're not being true. And they may not be able to, like, know it right offhand, but they know, you know. They, it's it's kind of a, a, an unconscious thing. You get kind of a vibe off of somebody that they're not quite who they seem to be or they're not telling the whole truth. And that turns people off. So, don't do that. That is one good piece of advice that I think, if more people put into action, would be better for the world in general. Aside from that, don't be afraid of talking to people. I am an introverted person. After a certain amount of time, I have had enough people I need to go home and be by myself for a little bit. That being said, you still have to go talk to people sometimes. Because otherwise, they're not going to know you're there, and they're just going to ignore you like you don't exist, because you essentially don't to them. So, those are my... I gave you two pieces of advice for the price of one. So, there you go. Um, I apologize that this is not going to be very well edited, if it's edited at all. Um, I'm really tired right now. I don't know exactly why I'm as tired as I am. I mean, I guess I've been up for long enough and I've been doing enough school brain stuff today that I guess I weren't being this tired. But it is time for me to go to bed. Um, so I will bid the adieu. Cat, I will see you tomorrow. And to the rest of the Aquanauts, I will see you next week. DFTBN.